good afternoon. Or maybe it's morning when you're watching this, in which case, good morning. Or if it's evening or before bedtime when you're watching this, well then good evening. But glad that you're watching this again, whatever time you're watching it, because I made these videos just for you. And we're going to read another story today from the Spark Story Bible from Augsburg Fortress. And this one is called Abram's Call. One day, God said to a man named Abram, It's time for you to leave your home and family and go to a new land. In this new land, I will give you many things and make sure people know about you. I will be kind to those who are kind to you. The ones, the ones who are unkind, I will be unkind. Because of you, all the families on earth will be blessed. Abram was 75 years old and had a long white beard, but he didn't let his age stop him. On his trip, Abram took his wife, Sarai, and his nephew, Lot. They walked many miles leading to the new land. It was a hot and dusty trip, but Abram knew that where God was leading them would be a beautiful place. The trip was long and hard because they carried all their pots and pans, dishes and clothes with them. Whew, I'm hot, said Sarah as her face grew red. I'm getting kind of tired, sighed Abraham. My feet hurt, groaned a lot. When they finally got to the land of Canaan, Abram stopped by a tall and shady oak tree. It felt good to get out of the blazing sun. God came to him there in the cool shade and said, I have a surprise for you. I promise to give this land to your family forever. Abram and Sarai and Lot were so thankful to God for this wonderful gift that they jumped and danced and hugged each other and shouted, Hooray! To show God how grateful they were, Abram decided to build two altars to honor God. He would build one altar out of large, smooth stones by the tree, and the other altar out of pieces of wood by his tent in the hills. That's the end of this story for today. The question that it asks is, pretend that you are going on a trip. Who will come with you? Draw a picture of something you will take with you on the trip. Do you ever take trips with your family? Maybe to see relatives or to go someplace special? My family, we usually take trips every summer to go see my parents who live way down in West Virginia, or to go see my wife, Lisa's dad out in California, or her aunt and her cousins out in Washington State. We sometimes take lots of trips like that, but not this summer. This summer, we've not been able to take those trips because of the pandemic, and that's, that's been kind of sad. But still, we know that we get to take trips. And we know that when we do take trips, God goes with us and is with us on the trip and where we go. And when we have to stay home, well, God's with us at home too. So know that God is with you when you're at home or when you go to visit friends or family or wherever you are, God's always with you. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, we give thanks to you for Abra, Abram and Sarah, for their listening to your call to go to the land that you would show them, for the fact that you brought blessings into the world through them and all of their, all of their descendants, all of their family. We give thanks to you for being with us wherever we go, when we stay at home, when we go to school or go to work, when we go to visit other people and other places. 
You're with us wherever we go, and you love us. We give thanks to you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining us today, and I'll see you again next time.